Video number 52, quadratics using the vertex formula to find the vertex of a quadratic equation. The formula is just as it shows, negative b over 2a is the x value, and then the y value would be found by plugging in that x value into the function itself. So therefore, we're going to take negative b over 2a, we're going to take negative of negative 12. That's going to give us positive 12 over 4, which is 3. Okay, that's the x value of the vertex of this equation. Okay, this is, a, this is an alternative to using the complete the square method. Okay, now, uh, we would then take that 3, plug it into the function, so we would find f of 3. So we would find f at 3, so we plug 3 in for x, so instead of 2 times x squared, it's 2 times 3 squared minus 12 times 3 plus the 1. Therefore, you get 2 times 9 minus 36 plus the 1 equals negative 17 because you got 18 plus the negative 36. Therefore, uh, 3 comma f of 3 is 3 comma negative 17. By the way, what's really interesting about this formula, if we were to analyze this a little bit more, if you notice, the a value is positive, right? Which means the graph will be going upward. 3 comma negative 17. The graph will be going upward, which means it will have two solutions. So this is perhaps another way to decide how many solutions an equation would have if there was a zero on one side rather than the uh, discriminant, as they use, b squared minus 4ac. So anyway, good times. Thanks for watching. And of course,